Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Real McCoy 411. No music playing because copyright got its claims. Mm -mm. Alright, so today is Moisturize Day. I told you guys I had a way to moisturize your hair. I hate looking at this thing. I suppose we looking right here, but I <laughs> show you how to moisturize your hair for a good three or four days before you have to, and then you can come back and do it again for another three or four days. Next thing you know, it's wash day. So right now, I just have my hair up and some little flat twists going back because that's how I want it to relax. This is what you see on my hair right now. That's got it looking crazy, but it was curling. It was pretty. Was the Elastic QP. I use that as a leave-in conditioner. And then I use the Curl Defining Pudding. Is in this is aloe vera juice. 100% aloe vera juice. You can buy it at Walmart. You can buy it at Walmart, Kroger, anywhere. Just 100% aloe vera juice. And when I damp my hair, I don't soak my hair. Go ahead and take this piece down. So, I just damp my hair with it. And I go in with my big two comb. And you're probably thinking, well, the product that I'm going to use to moisturize my hair, it is probably not going to mix with what you already have on your hair at first. But once it sets into the strands, it will. Okay. So, so far, aloe vera juice was my first product. Get back in this kitchen. And then I go to my Shea Yogurt. Hope you can see that. Thing. Shea Yogurt by Allocate Naturals. And a little goes a long way, okay? So however you're going to put your hair up, I usually just put my hair up and... Mm, ponytails is what I my little pineapples is what I normally do especially like as if at the end of the day and I think that's what I'm going to do here because it's the end of the day but you just get a little bit rub it in your hands so you can't see none Apply it to your hair. Until you feel it's sufficient. And as you can tell, like I told you, you won't see anything. But the moisture from the aloe vera juice and the moisture from the shea yogurt will hold you down. Okay? Then I always get my brush. Now this is just putting my hair up. This is not going to be a style at all. <laughs> so I'm going to just do a couple of flat twists in the front. And then I always get a little bit at the end. And just coil it. And I go through this process over my whole head. Now, not the flat twist. Because if you can, that would be great. But I cannot flat twist in the back of my head. I managed to get one video where I actually flat twist the back of my head. And I was watching uh, Naturally Nola. And I was able to do it that time, but especially now since my thumb is 
really out of whack, I can't do it. So for this piece here, add some more because you remember I already put in the aloe vera juice. And you just take your time and work it in. I'll make sure I get my ends, my tips, and my roots. And if you want to add a little more aloe vera, depending on how dry your hair is, then you can add a little more aloe vera. And you would think this goes really, this is like, is this going to work with all of the other products? Yeah, for some strange reason it does. So, this is how you moisturize your hair. Instead of having to re-add product, re-add product, re-add product. Especially if you have a wash and go now. If you have a wash and go and you try this method, that wash and go can really last. It really going to last. And it'll help, you know, if you have a crunch or something like that and then the next day if you have a wash and go you can just refresh your hair with the aloe vera juice instead of using more water more product because you don't want to have build up and you just refresh it with the aloe vera juice fluff it around and you're on your way Make sure you take care of those ends. They're the oldest part of your hair. And make sure you coil it. And that's it. Now for this piece here, just, just for the sake of don't want to be tacky and giving good content, uh, I'm just not going to leave that there like <laughs> I'm going to bobby pin it over here. Okay? And I'll be back as soon as I'm done with the rest of it. Show you how the end product look. All soft and juicy. Just watch. Hold on. All right. I'm on my last piece. In every section I did individually. Okay. Now I'm just making sure that I've rubbed it all in. At the ends. Make sure I get it all at the end. And you do not have to put these on tight. They are little pineapples. The looser, the better. Looser, better. This last, I had, I have thick, coarse hair, dry at times. This really works. So try this, and leave it in my comments how you feel about it. Did it work for you? Did it go longer than last? Did it longer? Did it last longer than three or four days? Give me some input. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, if it work on your eyebrows, yeah, all that stuff, let me know. Leave it in the comment description below. If you're new, please go ahead and subscribe. Click on the subscribe button down at the bottom. I am trying to reach a thousand plus subscribers. A thousand plus subscribers. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit share. Let's work together. Okay? All right. So, keep God first in everything you do. And I do mean everything in this moisturizing technique, honey. I'm telling you, it is going to give you life. The parts may not be straight in the back. 
It don't matter because it's coming down tomorrow anyway. Unless you just want to wear it like that, then you need to take your time. Okay? All right. Y'all have a blessed day.